Okay, the story here is, ever since the cars came, um, I've been having battery issues for the Merc, essentially. This battery I bought in September of last year in uh, Trenton when we were having so many problems trying to get the ignition solenoid to activate. The nearest we can tell is that it's not actually a 6 volt solenoid because neither of these batteries was able to close the solenoid and keep it closed. But that aside, this was still the battery that was in the car when it was delivered. There was no accessories on, but it was still hooked up. I don't believe it, yeah, it was still connected. So some kind of leakage somewhere, and it was flat, stone dead. On my multimeter, it was like 0 0.04 milliamps or some crazy ass thing, just like zero. So I tried to charge it, but it was so low that uh, none of my chargers would even attempt it. Of course, they're smart chargers, quote unquote, and they won't put out a charge if it looks like it's, you know, not connected to a battery or not a good one. So this is the original 6 volt battery that was in the Merc before I bought this one. I was able to charge that one because it had some residual power in it and it was in the trunk. So after charging it up, that's the one I've been using in the Merc since it came. Now, Wayne had a good idea, and that is to hook these two up in series, which I've done here, and then charge it as a 12 volt. Um, the thinking is that with them in series, there is some there is some charge across both, even though this one's stone dead. And um, with it in, in series now, we can treat it as a single 12 volt battery. So hence why the charger is hooked up across the two, positive and negative, and then these are hooked together positive and negative. So they're, they're operating as six cells. There's two volts in each cell, so this 12 volt battery now. I'm not sure I will charge them up full this way. I think once I can get some charge in here, I can probably dissolve this whole situation, put it back on the 6 volt setting, and then charge it naturally. I don't know which is better. This might be a perfectly acceptable way to do it. I'm definitely going to leave it on here for an hour or so. It's already showing 50% um, charged across the two. So it did. Um, it at least started this time. Like I say, when I hooked it up just to this in 6 volt mode, it, the machine just turned itself out and said you're, you're screwed. So anyway, that's um, hopefully this works. That'll be an interesting way to get this other battery, which is newer, um, conditioned back up to some usable state. That's all for now. If anything uh, changes here, I'll be back. Thanks for watching.